So down here, in between, basically in between my bed and the vivariums, we've got this little Lucky Raptor or Exoterra um, incubator. Now what's good about the incubator is that it actually does reverse, so I can do cooling. So you can see here that they're actually at 11 degrees Celsius at the moment, and you can see Nugget asleep on the shelf back there. She decided to brewmate up on the shelf, so I've left her to it, but let's have a look at these. I've tubbed them up in sphagnum moss, gave them tiny little water bowls, which they absolutely just trashed, flipped over and buried. So you can see one there, upside down at the bottom of the pile. I turned off all the heating and lights on their vivs, and then I brought down temperatures to around 15, um, naturally. I left all the bedroom windows open and stuff. And then I tubbed them all up and put them in, and over a course of days, we slowly brought the temperature down to around like 11 or so. I'm going to keep them around 10 or 11. See, the temperature's going up now because I've got the door open. But let's get some of these out and let's just check on some of these snakes. So we'll just bring this guy out onto the bed. Um, you'll see here there's a lot of condensation. So I'm not too concerned about the fact that they've flipped their water balls over because they've got a lot of droplets there to drink from if they're thirsty. Quite a small tub for the size of a snake, but they are basically dormant and not moving much. So... I'm not too fussed. I'd rather their lifespan be extended. So we'll get this tub open and we'll show you what they look like. So we can see that we've disturbed this guy now. And he's stirring and he's uh, thinking what's going on. I don't want to pester too much. So I'm going to close that lid before he comes out. So I have a book wedging them up a bit higher. Um, these lids aren't the most secure lids, so I thought that once they're dormant, they're not going to want to climb and push the lids open anyway. But um, I was wrong. So I woke up one night and um, the top snake was out loose in the incubator. So I had to top that up at like 3am whilst it's striking and hissing. <laughs> it wasn't too pleased. Um, but now I've wedged them up higher so that the top of this one is level with the top of the incubator. So that snake there is not able to get out now. And obviously, because that one's not able to get out, it's all flush, so nothing can get out. Look, this isn't some like major breeding operation. I'm just showing you someone else who wants to breed a couple of his snakes. Maybe get some egg hatching videos on the channel. That would be cool. My plan is, is I don't want to have babies here for very long because I know that with these babies I can't provide good enough welfare conditions in the long run. So I'm looking to get like three meals into them and I've, I've already agreed with my local shop that they are gonna take what I produce. So I'm gonna get three meals into them and they're going straight to the shop because I know this shop literally uses UV on every single snake and they have a policy of selling UV with snakes. So then I don't have to worry about vetting homes and I, I just can't be asked for it really. So I put my trust in the shop to do what I don't want to do really. So. So nothing really sciencey. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with these snakes. And when I bring them back up, I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to slowly bring the temperature up to 15 degrees, then put them back in their vivs with the lights off. And then over a course of weeks, I'll turn on one lamp, maybe the LEDs, set a good photo period of like six hours and then slowly ramp it up and then bring the temperatures up. I just thought people who watched the video with Francis would be interested in what I'm actually doing after, after the fact. So yeah, nothing fancy going on, but if you want to see why brumation is imp important, then I really recommend watching the video with Francis and I'll put that on the video now.